Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How yeah. have you been? Fair. Fair. Been, yeah. How is business? Business is slow, but we hang in there. You hang in there. Introduce yourself to our viewers. I'm called Sarah Mfamba. I'm a retiree. I'm, I'm above 50 years. Oh. That's about it, Sarah. I have three children. How is retirement treating you? Not so bad. Not so bad because I have something to keep me busy. Something to keep you busy. Tell me about the transition. Tell me about the transition. <laughs> Leaving the corporate life, the getting into retirement. It was hard and still has challenges. Hmm. But being mature, Sometimes you, you let you, you know you let things go mm. because you can't see the world as these young men see it. Mm. Because as in our setting, we are there is a garage, mm. there is a garage, so there are a lot of young people. Mm. What kind of business do you run? I run a shop, stock bar. Mm. So you have soft drinks. I have soft drinks. Mm beers mm. and a few others which is shop stock bar mm, okay and how did you get here just wanted to get a bit of the feel of how you left the corporate left were you saving um when retirement hit because you said i'm in retirement mm. so when retirement hit what were you doing before um i was working for a private security company I was a personnel manager. I worked there for nine years. So one day it was over. I just so since 2016, mm. I've been the I've been doing private business. Private business. Did you ever save? Uh, for retirement, were you using any schemes to save money at the time when you were still in the, the, the formal sector? Yeah, the formal sector I saved with NSSF. NSSF, okay. And were you able to access your money? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> interesting. I, I accessed it two, three, four, COVID time. COVID time. COVID time. Mm. And I built, I have a home. Mm somewhere around Chirika. Mm. So I, I built another house. Okay. My my retirement home. Okay. Using my NSSF. Your NSSF. It's small but it makes me happy. It makes you happy. And that's the important thing. We live to be happy. So I put tenants in the other one. Oh okay. So at least you have another house that you're collecting rent from and that helps you survive. Yes. And then how did you come up with the business idea? My friend picked me at home, Claire. <laughs> Thanks to Claire. Thanks to Claire. She was watching us. <laughs> she was tired of saying, where are you at home? Where are you at home? Mm. So one day she just picks me. I didn't start from here. I started from the other side of Chileka. Mm. She picks me. She brings me in a small lockup. She had chairs at home. She had the basics to start. Yes. So we added. She said, now you sit here. And then you bought stock, and how many years now? I've been in business for about seven years. Seven years. Oh, well done. But the other place was not nice. Mm, or active. Active, but not nice. Mm. Not in a good place. Oh, okay, the environment. So when I used to pass here and this museum was building, I was one of the first people to get a shop here. Yeah. Because at least they are facilities. Yes. Toilets work. Perfect. Any advice for people in retirement or soon to get into retirement? From the little lessons you've picked. You have to start saving early. I didn't start with the NSSF. I saved thanks to my family too. Mm. I had already built somewhere, some small tenements. So you don't, it, you don't wake up at 50. You have to start early. Yes. 
So that at 50, you're just finishing. Mm. It's difficult to start late. True. Because then when you start late, it means you need more money to survive. When you start early, and they, you start pushing away small And the money. body starts getting tired tired and sickly. I have terrible ulcers. I have so many things I can't do. So you need to prepare when you're still strong. When you're strong, when you're healthy, when the money is there. Because when you get the money is never there. I've had a very good relationship with Centenary Bank. Nice. I, I, I love that bank too. I've had a good relationship. They've helped me build up. Nice. So you're able to access credit. Yeah. Nice. I'm finishing my last loan this month. Nice. Nice. So I've worked hand in hand with it's the bank. bank. Mm. So you've actually I want to build a wall from... fence. Mm. You, you go to Sentinel. <laughs> so they oh. saw my house from <laughs> zero up to now. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a that is a very good color of a centenary bank. They are yeah. actually a very good bank. They are my partners. We partner in different things. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we are in finance, uh, they have very good products, especially for low income earners. Yeah, low income uh, earners. Uh, people in agriculture. Uh, they have very nice facilities, and they are well spread out. You you have an app. You are able to actually transact and use their. They are, they are up to Sente Mobile, I think. So you start early, you have to be sharp. You have to be sorry, you have to be sharp and think ahead. And for us ladies, I'm a single mom. So you have to say, where are these people going to be? How are they? Yeah, you have to think for the entire you family. Have to have the motivation. True. Thank you so much for sharing all this wisdom with us. I've loved that you've uh, given us tips on how to start early and not to wait yeah. when we are much older. I think that's very good advice. Yeah. And thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you too. All right, bye. Bye. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, okay.